lot has happened since you guys have had a peek into my everyday life. I've been intentional about spending more quality time with the people I love most and nurturing the relationships that are most important to me. Alora won't be the only child for much longer, so I am really focused on making the most out of our time together while she's still my one and only baby. It's officially fall and everyone knows that fall is my favorite season. For me, it's a season to just slow down, reevaluate, and do more simple things that bring me joy, like cooking chili or any other cozy fall meal for my little family. So that's also what I've been doing, slowing down, doing more things that bring me joy, cooking and taking care of our home. you're crawled up, I want to show you a glimpse of some of the things that occurred in my daily life since we last talked, starting with my birthday weekend. Today, on October 24th, I celebrate 29 years of life and I couldn't be any more grateful. So let me show you what my husband did for me. Good morning, you guys. Actually, good afternoon, because it's the afternoon. It's not morning anymore. I just finished getting ready. Um... My girlfriend, Kristen, hold on, what, what is this a crooked? My friend is coming to pick me up because we are doing a spa day. Spa day, I know he can't hear me. Hold on, let me shut my door. So my husband is sitting me on a spa day with my friend for my birthday. My birthday is October 24th, which is this coming Monday. And I am so excited, you guys. I've never been to the spa before, even though I've always wanted to go. I just never really either had the chance to or like didn't plan it myself. So they like had all of this done behind my back planned everything and then surprised me with it. So um, we are getting ready to head there. She's coming to pick me up and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Um, I actually bought it last night because I needed something to wear today in general because after we leave the spa day, we're gonna meet up with our husband or her fiance, my husband. And um, we're gonna go to the fair again. So Elliot, Alora and I went to the fair last weekend but Elliot and I are going back tonight because we want to eat and you can't really eat as much as you want at the fair with the toddler when she's running around doing everything you know so um, we're gonna have a double date at the fair and I'm super excited about that too but before I show you guys my outfit let me show you my new Anna Luisa pieces that I have on so I have on these Elise earrings and if you watched my channel like way back when I used to have these, actually Alora has the other pair on right now. Well, she has one of them on and then she has another Anna Luisa hoop on and we just do the mismatch thing. But um, I ordered some new Elise earrings and I have on the Elise necklace, which is so beautiful. I absolutely love this necklace. I don't wear necklaces too, too often, but something about this one just screams elegant minimal dainty as are all Anna Luisa pieces and then I got some new bracelets as well look at my bracelets you guys look how gorgeous these are like oh my gosh it was very hard for me to take off my old bracelets because I loved them so much 
but um i love these two so much especially this one this one is so unique so you have the stones on one side and then you have like the chain on this side and then you have um just this minimal nice beautiful gold chain here and then look at this one y'all oh my gosh i when i saw this i had to have it i love a pop of emerald for pretty much any outfit that i have on and this bracelet just did it for me like it is absolutely stunning it's still nice dainty minimal but girl it leaves a statement you know and then i also have a new band from Ana Luisa that I decided to replace my old band with just because I just love this ring so much. Let me take my set off so I can show you the actual ring. But this is the ring, you guys, and it makes for just such a stunning, dainty, elegant band. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. And it, it just even looks good on its own. Oh, let me show you guys the other ring that I got. So this is the other ring that I got from Ana Luisa. Ah! Look at that. It kind of reminds me of this like knitted sweater material. So this is a great choice for the fall. But look at that, you guys. Ugh, I am obsessed. I love them so much. I raved about them on, um, on my live. So I actually did a live hauling all of my new Anna, Lu Anna Luisa pieces that I got this month and I'm obsessed, I just love them. So thank you so much to Anna Luisa for partnering with me again on this video. If you guys aren't up to speed, which you probably should be if you're watching me by now, Anna Luisa creates the most stunning, elegant, dainty, feminine, high quality jewelry pieces at an affordable price point you guys some of the things even start at just 39 dollars. so there is truly something for everybody they are sustainable the way they source their metals the way they create their pieces is just planet friendly seriously every single piece that i get from them i'm obsessed with like i am such an anna luisa girl at this point Every single piece that I have on right now is from Anna Luisa other than like my hoops that I got from Target. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just, I love, I love, like I am blinging without doing the absolute most. You draw attention to yourself in just the most pleasant way possible when you wear these Anna Luisa pieces. And um, I'm just so obsessed. I love when I get new pieces from them. So if you guys want to shop Anna Luisa, make sure you click the link in my description box. It'll take you to all of my favorite pieces from them. And I'll also just have all of my favorite pieces listed in the description box as well. And if you use the coupon code Larissa10, you can receive 10% off of your entire Anna Luisa order, which is super special. All right, so I showed y'all my outfit. This is my hair. Um, I just got off of Instagram Live doing my makeup routine because y'all, I don't have on any foundation, like none at all. I am certainly gonna do a, this is, okay. So this is like my 10 to 15 minute no foundation makeup routine. And when I say I'm obsessed, I know I say I'm obsessed a lot, but baby, listen. I love this routine so much because it's just so comfortable and I just told my peeps over on Instagram live that I will choose comfort over cuteness any day but with this routine you don't have to do that and it just looks so good it's so comfortable my face isn't weighed down by like any kind of liquid foundation and it's just uh, it's just so good oh see look at this this is how you know you got kids. I got old McDonald's farm in the middle of my floor and it's about to take me out. Here is my outfit. I'm not sure if you can see the whole thing, but it's just this two piece knitted sweater. It is so comfortable, you guys. I'm so glad I bought this. Here's the bump, cause I know y'all wanna see. Baby's growing beautifully. And um, yeah, this is the outfit. I really wanted to put a vest 
over this outfit, but the only vests we have are Elliot's vests and they look very masculine and I don't want to look masculine today, you know? So I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I do have like a light um, jacket that I'm going to put over it when it gets colder, cooler for later, because I think it's supposed to get down into the 50s when we get to the fair. And so um, I definitely don't want to be cold, but this outfit in general is just so warm, which is why I wanted it in the first place, because it's just so warm and comfy. Love it. Okay, so I told Instagram Live that I will hop back on and show them my outfit. So I will um, pull you guys back out when my friend gets here. We're going to the spa. We're going to the spa. It's 1.37. We were supposed to be here at 1 for the um, salt cave. <laughs> But they said it, it starts at the top of the hour, so we have to wait until 2 to do that. And then um, we're going to do the mud bath thingy. And then after we leave from here, we're going to do like dinner or something. It's not really dinner though because we're going to go to the fair and eat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. We, gotta, we, gotta, we can't do something too crazy at right. where we go because we're going to be getting a whole bunch of stuff at the end. This um, spa place is super cute. There were three pretty black girls up front and I was like, well, is this black on too? But it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I was able to sneak my camera in here. <laughs> so we're, we're about to do the, the mud um, meditation. Meditation, that's what it's called. I thought it was gonna be like a mud bath, but so what you do is you basically so you basically like paint this mud all over your body and you just let it sit for 25 minutes and then you rinse it off. I'm gonna show you the room because it's really cute in here. This is nice warm heater, and then there's a shower, head on both sides. I'm gonna stand up and what the like. I'm glad I ain't in here with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> it would get messy, messy. We're done with our spa day. We're done with our spa day. It was very Quite much needed. It was very interesting. <laughs> yes, very much needed. But this, this wasn't like the typical spa day, like with the massages and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's different. It was. It was different Saturday nice. morning. <laughs> All right, now let's throw it back to a month or two ago when we went in for my anatomy scan to confirm baby E's gender. It's still surreal to me that we're having another baby and I still get all of the feels seeing them in my womb and hearing their little heartbeat. I cannot wait to share what we're having and have you celebrate our new bundle of joy with us. We are on the way to our official anatomy scan. Make sure ain't nobody in here. Relate, of course. I was brushing my teeth so slow to make sure that I didn't throw up because I had a, a nice breakfast. I had steak, eggs, and fruit, and I did not want to throw up. So I brushed my teeth really slow to make sure that didn't happen, but. So we're on our way to Elbow Art to get my cupcakes. I'm gonna get one for Laura's teacher, but this is random, but I went to Walmart yesterday said, or last night. I said get a cupcake for Laura's teacher. I went to Walmart last night and, okay, first of all, people be sleep on Walmart. They are on the come up. They be having some cute clothes, especially for the fall and winter. And when I went in there, I saw this jacket 
that was only $25 and it is so freaking cute and it's like the perfect fall jacket like this is the only kind of sweater that I have to keep me warm right now and I don't obviously I don't want to keep wearing it because it's not that kind of jacket or sweater or whatever so I'm gonna go back to Walmart and get that $25 jacket period and I'm gonna get stuff for you too you just <laughs> Elliot is a brand snob. Yes, you are. I don't. I, I hate the stores treat men like crap. How do taking her nap Elliot is in here taking some me some nasty stuff I wish I wish I could take a nap I've been up since 4 45 the Lord woke me up to pray so early and I'm like dog you could at least give me an hour another hour an extra hour so I've been up since the butt crack of dawn um I wish I could take a nap but I have a telehealth appointment with my midwife so we had our um, anatomy scan earlier and now I'm waiting on her to call for my visit with her after that I have some work that I have to knock out and then I have to get up and cook so I don't have time to take a nap unfortunately but that just means after Laura goes to sleep Elliot and I will do merry things and then I'll sleep really really good after that I need to clean my office because I cannot work in a cluttered office. Like I have to clear this table and um, do a little bit of cleaning. I have a haul, my um, fall decor haul that I wanna do for y'all. I don't know if I have everything that I want to decorate for fall, but I definitely started out with a bang. I started off on the right foot. So I went to, I think it's called Pop Shelf. Um, it's kind of like one of those, it's like an elevated five below. So I bought some pretty decent things and their stuff is great, you guys. And then um, the video after this one, I'm gonna do a fall clean and decorate with me. And I'm super excited about it. So that's what we have going on. Hello. Can I speak to Melissa? This is she, but it's the um, sound is distorted a little bit. Um, how about now? Can you hear me better now? Um, not really. It sounds like a robot. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. I've had my ear. I'm using my earbuds. Let me um just convert to my phone. Hold on one second, okay? Okay. How about that? Does that sound better? Yes. Yes. Um, Okay, great, good. Um, and so I'm going. So when you get the um, ultrasound report, um, the way that I describe the way that you kind of look at it, the first page will has a bunch of measurements on it, and mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that when that the measurements they all have sort of ranges. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that there's anything wrong. Okay. okay. Um, it's just that you know, your baby is growing at its own pace, and there's different percentages um, of. Um, of like where the baby falls as far as the growth. Um, mm -hmm. But as long as it falls within, you know, a certain, you know, there's a wide variation of normal. And so just because one measurement may say 30, 30th percentile and another one say 67, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. We would not okay. expect for any of the measurements to be, you know, all even together because you know, that's where genetics plays into it, okay? Right, okay. But, but everything is, is perfectly normal. Um, they all, they measured your cervix. Your cervix is nice and long, which is what we want. So that's always, you know, a really good thing. Um, the baby's heart rate was in the 140s. And so just to review the normal range, 
Um, is 110 to 160, and so that was perfect as well. Okay. Um, then they go through like an entire checklist of things that they are looking at in all, in all the like the major organs. So they look at the brain, they look at the face, they look at the heart inside the abdomen, the baby's back, the arms and the legs. They also evaluate the placenta, and um, everything looked really, really good. The umbilical cord is healthy. It's got all the vessels that it needs to have. Um, and just so you know, um, your placenta is in the front. It's in what we say is anterior. Mm-hmm. So you may not feel fetal movement for some several weeks yet because that whenever a woman has an anterior placenta, it kind of acts like a little bit of a cushion. And yeah. that's neither good nor bad. That's just where the placenta is. It's just I wanted you to know that. So if you had, if you were comparing this to a prior pregnancy or comparing it to your friends and you have a friend who's about the same gestation and they're feeling a lot of activity, but you're not, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong, okay? Right. I had that with my uh, first baby okay you feel like you bounce back from all that morning sickness and whatnot yes it, everything is much better i still have you know some bad days but they're not nearly as bad as what it was in the first oh, trimester good. so good 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 now as far as you know especially when women are cut, coming off of you know a, a you know, really bad morning sickness or um do you feel like that that your diet that your like your taste for certain foods has improved or are you getting enough protein Yes, that's that's pretty much all I eat these days because that's all I crave. Oh, well, good. So I am on a high protein. I actually had eggs and steak for dinner. I mean, for breakfast this morning. Oh, wow. Well, mm, that, sounds, that sounds very yummy. Yeah. That's, that's actually very reassuring because a lot of times when women have had really bad morning sickness, even once they're better, all they want is carbs. Mm-hmm. And so I'm glad, I'm glad that, you're, that you're craving some protein. So that's really, really, really good. Yeah. Oh, I will get back with you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. You have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my gosh. If y'all only knew the hell I went through in that first trimester. And there is a very significant portion of the story that I'm leaving out um, just for privacy reasons. And because I'm, I'm just not ready to share right now at all. And so if the Lord releases me ever to share, then I will. But other than that, just know that the road ain't been easy. But I come too far. No, I'm just <laughs> No, but seriously, that is just it's such a sigh of relief to hear that everything is great. And the baby see, and here's the thing. Having a healthy pregnancy and um a healthy baby in general like to be able to carry a healthy baby in a healthy body is just one of the most underrated blessings that anyone can count as a blessing you know today i shared the full name on my close friend um, and so we're just super excited um, and I am very, very grateful that all is well and I am going to remain prayerful and um, I am going to keep my confessions aligned with my faith and you know, Whatever the enemy chooses to throw at me, I'm going to fight him right back with scripture because don't nothing work more than scripture, honey, okay? So that just that just made me happy. That just made my day. Um, I was just telling Instagram, today is just so peaceful. I don't know what it is, but um, although I'm super sleepy, I'm like super at peace and like calm and... Alora is calm, cool, and collected, which usually isn't the case. She's usually on 100, but she's on like 28 <laughs> today. God is good. God is faithful. Towards the end of July, maybe a little bit before that, I kind of felt like God was telling me to slow down in life in general and just really focus on the now and live in the moment be present in the moment and um 
just live for the season that you're in and, and don't be so focused on what's coming in the next seasons. And I've obeyed and I've seen the benefits of my obedience, but also it's like, I have a clear mind. I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing in this season. I know how to do it, that's really important. And because I have clarity about all of that, it's like things are starting to pick back up a little bit, but it's paced, if that makes sense. So actually this morning, I just wrote down a list of all of my priorities that are taking place work, work and ministry wise. And it's a lot, but I'm like, wow, I don't even really feel the rush of all of this like you're supposed to. Like, you know, people talk about being burned out and drained and all of that. And I'm just really grateful because prior to now, prior to this season that I'm in now, I was so burned out. Like, oh my gosh. I thought that a vacation was going to fix that. But really, the cure was slowing down, allowing the Lord to heal my mind and um, repentance turning away like turning my my negative and wicked and ungodly thoughts and replacing those thoughts with scripture and just really going to God and figuring out where he wants me to be that has helped so much and so now I'm like okay I am doing everything that I was supposed to do last season or that I was doing last season that burned me out but I was doing it in the wrong way which caused the burnout and so now I'm doing it in a greater capacity but the burnout is not there you know it is just man when I tell you that the Lord will keep you and he will sustain you he will sustain you he will sustain you for what you're called to do, for the season that you're in, for the responsibilities that you have. If you're a wife, mom, business owner, corporate America worker, any kind of worker, you know, he will sustain you for what you're called to do, for the journey that's ahead in your life. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't know why I just said all of that, but Hopefully that serves as some encouragement to y'all because the burnout was real, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. And I still have my moment, moments when I'm like, oh my God, okay, this is a lot. But then now I know what to do. It's like, okay, I need to slow down. Is there something in my mind that's off? Is my perspective off? That has been one of the, the main keys, my perspective and you know having god's perspective on what it is that i am going through you know what i mean i hope this is making sense and so yeah even we were supposed to go to the mountains for my birthday elliot had this super nice luxurious mountain trip planned for my birthday my birthday's at the end of october and um he started getting down because we can't go anymore and, um, this, you know, it, there's a lot going on in this season of our lives, okay? Um, there's just a lot going on and I was like, I don't think I want to make that trip because it's a four hour trip, like four hours there, four hours back. And I'm like, look, next week or next weekend, we're going to Myrtle Beach for our leadership retreat at church. And then shortly after that, we have to go to, um, or now we have to go. We have our annual conference that we're running basically because we're the um, marketing leads. And then in November, we have another trip coming up. And it's like, I, I need to just slow down and catch my breath. I'm doing too much. Let's just skip out on the trip. And um, he started getting 
upset a little bit because he thought that this was going to kind of like help me relax and be the thing that is the answer to um, some of the burnout that I've been experiencing lately. And I won't even say burnout, just like the ex exhaustion, you know? But um, <laughs> he was surprised when I told him like, yo, it's okay. It's okay. Like I don't need that trip to just you know, um, like exhale, if that makes sense. So I just thank God that I'm in that place now because listen, honey, I was not there three months ago, four months ago, and um, I'm grateful for it. Let me just say that. I still feel like I'm settling into my new normal as I continue to balance wifehood, motherhood, and all that I am in between, honestly. But these are the moments when I am most grateful to God for his grace and mercy as I navigate life. Come here, Lord. Thank you. Are you done with the popsicle? Yeah. Okay. How can I get pasty? Nah. Here, throw it back. This is definitely not where the story ends, and I invite you on this journey with me. So, to be continued.